Greetings and good afternoon, my dear dudes and dudettes. This is, of course, your guy, LL here. And today I'm going to be doing this review slash tutorial on this Algorand DeFi dApp known as Algo Fee, which is a lending protocol allowing you to lend different Algorand assets and earn interest on those assets. Or you can also borrow assets based on the amount that you have lended on the protocol. But before we jump into the actual dApp, I want to go through through a couple of other things on their main website here. First of all, there has an audit being done for the actual protocol, which allows me to kind of sleep better at night knowing that my funds are going to be safe and it's going to be relatively hard to basically hack them out of there. There's also a bug bounty here, which allows them to basically find possible uncertainties about the code, which is also very nice. And the team is also transparent and docs, so basically we know who are behind it, which also allows to kind of see what have they worked on before here, what type of qualifications they have, and also kind of brings a bit of a certainty that these guys are here to stick around and not exactly exit scam. Uh, there's a couple of investors here listed, which I'm not very familiar with outside from the Arrington XRP Capital. And that's pretty much it for the main website. So um, we got an audit and we got a team, which are all very, very good signs for our project. Now there is the wallet options, which you can log it, which is the Algorand official and also my Algo wallet, which I'm going to be using in this video. Um, like, you know, normally I like using Algo signer because it's like less buggy than all the other wallets that I'm basically using. So in case the developers are watching, please add support for the Algo signer because Algo wallet, my Algo wallet has a tendency to kind of forget itself in, you know, the browser and I have to put in the seed phrase again. And that's really, really annoying. And both of these, and basically all Algorand wallet keeps asking for passwords over and over again, which is very tiring um, for the long run. Um, and here is the application interface. And here are the assets that are basically that you are able to borrow and also lend. So we have Algorand obviously here, we have USDC, we have BTC and Ethereum. Then we have the STBL, which is Algo Stable, which is a native stable coin of the protocol. And basically when you lend money into the protocol, let's say $200, maybe you're able to borrow $50 worth of something and you can borrow that sum in stable coins, which is the STBL. Now the STBL is not like backed one-to-one -to, -one to Algorand, for example, it's back to all of these that are on the platform. So it's a bit different stable coin from, for example, USD or DAI, which are backed by the native assets of their own chain. So I think there's gonna be at some point a stable coin, which will be backed by Algo, hopefully. Now we're gonna be logging in, as I already said, I'm gonna be using my Algo here to log into the platform, putting my password in, hoping that I remember it on the first go. And there we go, we are basically now locked in. It's gonna be taking a couple of seconds until we are actually inside. And here I can see the amount that I have borrowed on the platform and understanding this, that currently the APR is 1.36%, which means that you're gonna get a higher rate by normal staking right now on Algorand. This is very normal on any other staking chain that has smart contracts, never the supply APR is bigger than the staking rate, whatever it's Polygon, Solana, Cardano, etc. So this is pretty normal. Now that percent could still be higher though, but that is obviously based on the actual uh, demand here. Now, as for the other ones, USDC 2.37%, not exactly very lucrative either. And Ethereum and Bitcoin at 0.11% and 0.10%. Now there's obviously cases to be made that maybe algo, fix, algo fees, smart contracts are a lot more robust than they are in the competition. So they are maybe more secure and maybe you see less of a risk than being hacked versus some other chains. And here I have already, as, as you can see, I've supplied some Algorand here. I'm gonna be showing you how to basically supply. It's very easy. So here we're gonna be putting out the amount um, available balance so we don't have basically anything here left. I'm gonna be putting 0 0.2 here. Um, and I'm gonna be supplying this amount. And here we're gonna be having the Algo signer. We're gonna be putting our password in. And you can actually make this screen bit bigger by extending it here. You can see all the application calls. There's a lot of these in Algorand. You click sign. Oh, we put a password wrong again. Let's try again. 
signing it, and now it's ascending transaction to the blockchain, and it will be depositing that amount into the actual uh, lending protocol. And this is obviously something you can easily do with all the other assets. It's basically a mirrored process. Uh, we have some USDC here. Um, right now, obviously, we would want to trade on Tiny Man to get some swaps. I don't know if there's another DEX currently operational on Algorand, but there you could basically get USDC and other coins, but right now it got hacked, so it's kind of offline. Then there is the staking dApp, and there you can basically stake this DBL, and you can get like a 3% APR on it. And you can also basically stake out the LP, but the LP, um, as you can see, the, the liquidity has been removed, so this is not even an option right now. Uh, hopefully this APR is a lot larger down the line. And this is pegged into USDC, which is a good thing because of very low chances of impermanent loss, meaning that this APR, if it's over 20%, for example, this would be a very lucrative thing to do. Uh, then there's the analytics tab and basically showing you the amount of being supplied. And that has been growing pretty nicely when you just look into, I think this was probably started in December, maybe, uh, this whole protocol and you can see that it has like gaining um you know this month specifically almost well not necessarily a million per day but there has been a pretty nice uh growth so over uh 13 million have been supplied and over uh 1 million point two uh have been basically borrowed and this is obviously statistics you can see for all of the other uh pairs here which is very nice because this is not something that a lot of these other lending protocols basically show you. And the borrowed amount here, it's kind of interesting for this one. Then there is the rewards tab, which is currently under construction. And then there is governance. Now, one of the reasons I also supplied here, because there might be a possible airdrop. Are they going to be issuing perhaps uh, their own form of... Um, stable uh you know a governance token because stbl is not a governance token neither should it be stable coins should never be uh you know uh governance token so they might be issuing one so perhaps there's an airdrop down the line uh there's also a light mode here you can also show dust i don't know what this means this is kind of giving this sort of a weird uh visual effect here there's also discord ready telegram documentation languages also in many English, Spanish, uh, Franque, Russian, Chinese, Turkish, Vietnamese, Indian, uh, I think this is Japanese, maybe, Italian, Korean. So uh, also very, you know, broad in the sense a lot of language options out there. But I don't have much else to add here. I'm wishing that there will be more assets here down the line once, once the Algorand ecosystem continues growing. And I have to revisit that STBL uh, LPs before uh, once Tiny Man gets back in online and maybe that will be a um, more lucrative option but definitely something to try out in case you like lending strategies and especially using them on Algorand. Thanks for watching as always I will be seeing you on the next video. Cheers!